this is a scaled down model of the complete levitator. It's three U cores with coils on and an aluminium plate that's going to float. Alright, if we switch on, put on the plate. It floats with about an inch gap and is stable in all directions. Okay. Now what we have made already on the scaled up full size version is one of these units. So what you'll see is a large U-core with encapsulated coils wound on it. Well, this is a complete unit of one of the U-cores and these are the pole pieces sticking through. At the moment we've only got six coils per side but this is blocked up with wood and we do have room for another nine coils making fifteen in all if we should need them. Now we'll put on the aluminium plate. Okay. Now this aluminium sheet weighs about a hundred pounds. At the moment we've got it anchored on a rope at that end to take the weight and a backstop just in the center. The coils are going to take the weight at this end. All right, switch on. Now it's floating, as you see, but it isn't laterally stable. I can't quite take my hands off because it drifts sideways. This is because it isn't yet high enough. We're only operating at 200 volts. Now at that voltage, it's floating about seven inches above the coils. Now this time we're going to do it at 400 volts with a higher lift and I'd like you to notice the increase in lateral stability. Okay, switch on. Now I can practically take hands off. It's just on the point of becoming laterally stable. time the supported height is 11 inches which is halfway to our target. Now when we have a bigger voltage available and we put the other nine coils on each side we confidently expect to lift this to two feet and the lateral stability will have increased until it is a completely hands-off system Remember also that this is taking the whole weight of the plate at the moment with only one unit and there are to be three units and therefore there will be ample for lifting force to lift 200 pounds in addition to the weight of the plate.